Hey, I'm Miller the Pillar, and I'm here to show you how you can get fit anywhere, even in the office. How you doing? Hey. I'm gonna show you a few simple things you can do to sit better and improve your overall health. Number one, look at your keyboard. It's too far away. Okay. Take that keyboard and bring it right up to you. Now put your hands right there. You're already in a better spot than you were before. And your back is in a much better position than it was. We tend to sit like this. Yeah. Nobody wants to be the hunchback of Notre Dame. So now, roll those shoulders back. How's that feel? Much better. Even better. Okay, tuck your pelvis under. And now I want you to take your head and bring it back. Wow. Now that's how you should be sitting all day long. All day long. <laughs> <laughs> Without ever leaving the keyboard, there's loads of things we can do to help our overall health. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, very well, thanks. I'm Matt. I'm Tommy. Tommy, nice, nice to meet you. Right, so here's something easy we can do. Mid-morning and mid-afternoon, just take two minutes out of your time to do shoulder rolls. Okay. Bring your shoulders up to your ears, pinch them back, and bring them down. Good. Again, bringing them up to the ears, down, and back. All you have to do is 10 of those. Take two minutes out of your day, mid-morning and mid-afternoon, and I promise you, your back will thank you. Hey, how you doing? Hey. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Hey, likewise. Hey, do you mind if I chat with you a little bit about your lower back? Go for it. So did you know that sitting down at your desk can be one of the most damaging things for your lower spine? Really? Yeah. I thought I would just show you a pelvic tilt, which is something you can do to help your lower spine without even leaving your desk. If you squeeze your butt and you tilt your pelvis forward, not back, so that's the other way. Oh, okay. So tilt your pelvis forward like you're tucking it underneath. Yeah, yeah. What happens to your abs? It's tighter. They're tighter, yeah, yeah. exactly. So what happens when we sit down at our desk, we tend to roll the shoulders back and stick the butt out and all the pressure builds up in your lower spine. So if you tuck your pelvis under just like that, mm -hmm. not only are you helping your lower back, but you're getting a free ab workout. Wow. So now if you just do that 10 times, you don't have to put your hands on your abs, but you can be sitting at your desk and just squeeze your butt and tuck your pelvis under mm -hmm. and now do it again. No one's even gonna know you're doing it. I'm not saying you don't have to go to the gym, but you actually did do <laughs> an ab workout. Okay, cool. Right, so you want 10 of those? We'll send them right out. The office is a dangerous place for our health. Prolonged sitting is truly one of the worst things we can do for our body. But there's loads of easy things we can do. We just have to take the time to make a little bit of effort. 10 minutes in the morning in between breakfast and lunch and 10 minutes in the afternoon in between lunch and the time you leave and you can do your back a world of good. Remember, the take home message is looking at your lower spine, those pelvic tilts, looking at your thoracic, your middle spine, your shoulder rolls and making sure your keyboard is set in the right place. Everybody can do that. Just remember that your back is important and later in life, you wanna make sure you can use it as much as possible.